Hi, I am Shyamnandan Rai, a graduate student at Polytechnico di Torino. Will be presenting my work, Unmasking Anomalies in Road Scene Segmentation. This work has been done in collaboration with Fabio and Dario as my co-authors under the supervision of Professor Carlo and Barbara. Semantic segmentation for road scene is a task of pixel-wise labeling of a road scene into predefined set of classes. However, when we deploy such models in real-world scenarios, there could be possibility of expecting anomalous objects on the road. So, these models tend to fail during test time. We address this problem by introducing anomaly segmentation for road scene, which is a task of pixel-wise labeling of anomalies that are present on the road. The task of anomaly segmentation for road scene is a task of higher importance as it helps us build robust autonomous navigation system and also protect wildlife from getting into fatal situation. From past few years, researchers have introduced a plethora of algorithms that are based on per pixel classification architecture and intended for anomaly segmentation. The idea behind using per pixel classification architecture is to individually classify each pixel and assign them an anomaly score. Using this anomaly score, we identify them as an anomalous or non-anomalous. However, this leads to high number of false positive and poorly localized anomalies. So, we take a paradigm shift from per pixel classification architecture to per mass classification architecture that are also called mass transformer and are general segmentation architecture. Below is the image of mass to former architecture. If we just apply MSP on top of mass to former outputs, we are able to get well localized anomalies. However, mass to former is a general purpose segmentation architecture and there is a still need for improvement that are spatially intended for anomaly segmentation. So we introduce mass to anomaly that has structure of mass to former but with three important improvements. Firstly, we introduce global mask attention at architectural level. So global mask attention improves anomaly segmentation by attending to foreground as well as background, whereas mask attention only attends to foreground which results in missing the anomalies. Next, we introduce mask contrastive loss at training level. Mass contrastive loss uses supervised way of anomaly training at mask level and the idea behind is to bring the known classes together and push the anomaly apart from the known class by a margin. At inference level, we introduce refinement mask. The idea of refinement mask stems from panoptic perspective where we hypothesize anomaly as things so using this hypothesis, we construct refinement mask, which is accumulation of all the mask and class cores that correspond to stuff. Once the refinement mask is constructed, we multiply it to prediction map to get the refined prediction, having reduced false positive. By combining all the components of mass to anomaly, we are able to better localize the anomalies with minimal false positives. Coming to the main result, we are able to reduce the false positive by 60% when compared with the all the prior methods and we are able to improve the objectness that could be seen in the component level matrix performance. Coming to the qualitative result, we can see mass to anomaly has a better localization of anomalies and also has reduced false positive. Here we can see mass to anomaly preserves the known class semantic segmentation performance which shows that while learning the anomaly segmentation it does not forget the known class performance and here we can see it shows in par segmentation performance with mass to forward. Thank you.